Okay, so today we're going to talk about a subject that seems to overly concern a lot of new rappers, a lot of people just getting into the rap game. And it's a question that was asked to me by a young guy that I've worked with and coached. Shout out to him. I would normally shout out his name, but obviously he has some concerns about his name. So we're going to talk about what name he could possibly choose, but of course you guys out there in YouTube world as well. So the point of this video is choosing a rap name. And the way he asked it was sort of Drew, you know, and a lot of people ask me this stuff, by the way, sort of like, what should my rap name be? Sort of like, tell me what my name should be. It's so important. And if I don't have the right name, then I might not be the big success I want to be, Drew. So I need some help here. Okay, you can hear my voice. I don't take this issue very seriously because it really doesn't matter. And this is I don't mean to deflate your ego if you came to watch this video and you were thinking, finally, a video where somebody's going to tell me how to live my life. Just tell me, you know, or somebody's going to tell me the exact meaning because they know perfectly and all this kind of shit. Sorry, I hate to bu burst your bubble, but look, a rap name, if you're a beginning rapper or if you're an old school rapper, whatever you are, should be really, really low on your priority list. A name is what you make it. A name is what you embody around it, whether it's your rap name, your government name, your nickname, whatever it is, you as the artist, you as the person, you as the human being, you define the name. So given the context, whatever that may be, if you're a cool motherfucker, your name can be Jimmy Jab. And if Jimmy Jab is that motherfucker and he can rap ill, trust me, people will not care. They might be like, that's kind of a weird name. But that's about it. And then they hear you rapping. And they're like, well, all right. Jimmy Jab is that motherfucker. Damn. Like, I, I would never think somebody with that name would be that dope. But I'm buying his album. What do I know? So the first lesson you should get out of this is a name is what you make it. It's not a big deal. With that being said, from direct experience, my own experience, other rappers' history, another thing you should know about choosing a rap name is it often changes over time. Most of the rappers that I've heard of and the rappers you probably look up to had several rap names. I'll give you a little quiz right now. We're going to give you some old rappers' names, and I want you to predict, predict the rapper I'm referring to now. So the first one we have on our list is a guy named Blaza, B-L-A-Z-A. -A. Do you know who this is? A guy named Jermaine Cole, J. Cole. His first rap name, just looked it up, was Blaza. Okay, we're going to have another rapper. Okay, so this guy's first rap name was Therapist, or his second rap name was Therapist. Guess who it is? Jermaine Cole, J. Cole. It's just the fucking name. He also had the name Therapist, apparently. Okay, here's a real easy one, because this guy defines the city he named himself after. Here's a rapper named MC New York. MC New York. Do you know who that is? Probably think it's Jay-Z, right? Probably think it's a Wu-Tang member, right? Maybe it's not. No, it's not. It's Tupac, okay? Tupac's first rap name was MC New York. Partially because he grew up in New York too. He was about 15. What's my point? It changes a lot, and it doesn't really matter. Now, the real question you have to fuck with yourself is, if J. Cole's rap name was Blazer or Therapist, would I still like him as much? Or if Tupac was actually MC New York, would I still think he was dope? Who fucking knows? Who cares? It's Tupac we're talking about. It's J. Cole. He just dropped a classic on us. Like, it's not a huge deal. So, one thing I really want you to get out of the second point is, number one, expect your name to change. Like, don't feel bad if you change your name around if you're going to go do that. I would just say pick one, personally. But a lot of rappers have different names than they actually ended up with. And so, you know, just take that into account and go look up the old rap names. Those are just a few examples I found, but you know, there you go. But here, anyway, so some ideas for names that you could have. Um, I personally would go with just your regular name or some version of it. So J. Cole, his full name is Jermaine Cole. Eminem, Marshall Mathers, I think we all know that one. Um, at this point, my rap name is just Drew Marcy, it's just my name. Um, Tupac, his name is Tupac Shakur, two with the number. Um, if you're not with that or you don't like your government name or whatever, you can manipulate your 
government name into a name. So Ja Rule, Jeffrey Atkins Rule. His name's Jeffrey Atkins, Ja Rule. Um, Jadakiss is a mix, his name's Jason something. And I, uh, from what I've read, it's some kind of manipulation of his government name. Kanye West, that's his government name. There's a lot of examples of people who are just like, I, I don't have time for this shit because I'm trying to grind. So pick your government name or maybe just manipulate it a little bit. Um, it's kind of common for a few rappers nowadays to choose like um, like gangsters, like 50 Cent, Rick Ross. Um, I don't know if that's the best route for you. I don't think that a lot of people watching my YouTube channel are the type of motherfuckers to be like, I always wanted to be named Michael Corleone. So that's my name. You know what I mean? Like, so I guess I would steer you away from the gangster thing. But if you want, maybe find a character. You know, you can find a character from a movie that you really enjoy and choose that or somebody that you embody um, or you feel like you want to embody. So you could be like, well, I feel like I'm, you know, Denzel in Training Day. I think the character's name is Alonzo. Well, that's kind of a gangster. But you know what I mean? Or Tyler Durden, like Brad Pitt in Fight Club or whatever. Any of those kind of names, they can work as well. Um, or another option, what you could do is find a phrase. This is kind of old school. But there's rappers like Common or Ludacris, people like that where they fabulous, like they choose basically like an adjective or a noun that describes them or has some, actually I think Common's full name was uh, Common Sense and then I think it was like some kind of copyright thing. Uh, also think about childhood nicknames, T.I., uh, T. it comes from T.I.P., his, his nickname in childhood was Tip. And there was a whole like legal battle because Q-Tip, I think, was signed to the same label as T.I. So at the time, it was T.I.P. and Q-Tip, and they were just like, just take off the P. He's like, all right, I'm T.I. There you go. So notice how a lot of these stories I'm telling you, the rappers just changed it without much like thought or like intensity. It wasn't like, like T.I. probably when, when that moment happened, when he became T.I., and I think I've heard interviews where he talks about this, he's just like, well, I guess I'm T.I. now. And he was like, what is a T.I.? I don't know, but that's what I am now. And he moved on about his fucking career. The name is really low on the priority list. Um, I don't want you to invest too much time on it. But the one thing I would say, if you were to put any emphasis on your rap name, any emphasis is make sure that it's something that you feel comfortable saying. Like, SpongeBob SquarePants is probably not the rap name I'm thinking for you. Like, I don't want you to <laughs> watch this video and think, okay, well, the idea that, that Drew is saying is I shouldn't care and move on about my career. So when I, when I first finished the video, I just turned on the TV and there was SpongeBob. So now I'm SpongeBob MC. No, I'm not saying that. Like, you can find something that you're comfortable with, whether that's your government name, manipulating your government name as we talked about, maybe a character that you identify with. Like, any of those things are fine. But make sure that the one priority is make sure it's some shit that you're slightly proud of or at least able to say. My name's Drew Marcy. I'm like, I, I used to have another rap name. I've had like four or five over the 14 years I've been doing this music thing. And, uh, you know, sometimes I liked them, sometimes I didn't. I changed them because I, I don't know. You know, maybe it's like some kind of mental shit. I think a lot of people, they change their rap name just because... They have some kind of weird life circumstance that they're like, no, now this is the new me. Um, you know, sometimes it's legitimate. Uh, Two Chains recently talked about his rap name and uh, how his first rap name was Titty Boy. And he actually kind of like I knew who he was as Titty Boy because he was part of Disturbing the Peace and all that. And uh, he was kind of known in the city of Atlanta as like Titty Boy. I think some people still call him that. But Two Chains, after he, he got on his new deal, I guess, and kind of had like a, a life circumstances that just made him, you know, change his perspective, I guess. He chose two chains and uh, there's a reasoning behind it that has some like actually deeper meanings. I don't want to call the dude out or like misrepresent his ideas, but I know that two chains has more of some kind of impact um, for him than just the idea of chains. So um, there's a perfect example of how sometimes life circumstances can make you want to change shit even after you've blown up or even after you're associated with like a lot of success in uh, Atlanta and stuff like that. So looking back, this is not a big thing. This is not huge to your rap career. 
you know, Drew's going to keep it honest with you. There's going to be a lot of people probably watching this video like, who is this dude, Drew? I came here to just be told what to do and how to live my life. But now he's saying some things that actually make me think, well, that's my lot in life. And I guess that's what I'm here for. But it's not that big of a deal. If you're going to, and most rappers, by the way, you're going to change it probably a few times. So don't put too much stress on yourself. Um, a lot of rappers um, have old rap names, MC New York, Tupac, Therapist, J. Cole. I have to admit, I'm pretty happy, Cole, that you changed it to your regular name because Therapist is a little intense. I don't know if I really want to buy 20, uh, 2014 Forest Hills Drive by Therapist. Like, it's a little intense there. Um, <laughs> shout out to J. Cole. Um, so there's that. And, you know, just mess with it. Maybe manipulate your uh, your legal name or choose a phrase or an idea that describes you. Man, that's ludicrous. You know, that was like he made it a fun name. Um, you can choose maybe geography. You can choose a character from a movie that you identify with. Um, and the last thing I'd say, now that I just thought of it, the last thing I'll say about this is be sure that... It's something that you are planning to market with. Like, make sure, and once you choose that name, make sure your Facebook, your Twitter, all that shit is on that same page. I think a lot of rappers, and in fact, people in the exclusive group, I'm have to, after this video is posted, I'm have to tell them, like, don't have your rap name be, you know, J, J, uh, J, J um, damn, that's Jay Z. Let's say your rap name is like um, J R the God. I don't know. Let's say it's JR the God, right? If your rap name is JR the God and your Twitter name is like, you know, uh, Philly Philly 334, like, and then your, your Facebook is facebook.com slash Philly is where I was born 772. And then your Instagram is JR the Philly rapper 357. Like dog, it's going to be hard to find you. And like, it's, it's not, Make sure that no matter what you choose, it's something that you can put on each social media so it's easy to find people. You'll notice on my videos, How to Rap Drew. I just picked it out. I was like, okay, well, How to Rap, I think is Taken or whatever. So I was like, well, my name's Drew, How to Rap Drew. So my Twitter is at How to Rap Drew. My Facebook is How to Rap Drew. This channel is How to Rap, Drew Marcy's How to Rap. My Instagram is how to rap Drew. So notice it's easy to find. You Google how to rap Drew, you're going to see this beautiful visage, no matter how you fucking look for it. Do the same with your rap name and you'll do well. So just make sure it's something that you can put on each platform, even if it's something normal. Like even if your rap name was just JR, just make sure your Twitter is JR123, your Instagram is JR123. Your fucking Facebook, JR123, like make it all together so your audience doesn't have to spend like half a fucking year trying to find your Twitter, but they have your Instagram or vice versa. So that's the one other thing. Um, hopefully this helps. As again, I'm keeping it real with y'all. I ain't going to give you some run around about like, okay, so you get a Rubik's Cube and <laughs> a calculator and then you put them together and your name comes out like this ain't. Go to those rap generator games if you really want it. Childish Gambino, you know him? Nice as shit, right? Donald Glover. Apparently, he got his name from, uh, I think it was a Wu-Tang name generator. Like, so, like, and the dude is nice. Like, I listen to his music not because he got his name from a, a Wu-Tang generator. It's because the motherfucker can rap. So, <laughs> that's my last anecdote that basically, it doesn't really matter that much, but make sure that people can find it. And uh, everyone's kind of familiar with it. So that being said, I'm Drew Morrissey. Uh, feel free at the end of this video, if one of y'all just like, this video inspired you to fucking pick a name once and for good, uh, post it under here. And that's pretty cool. And, uh, and if you do, post your social media with the same name on each one. You learn that lesson now. Peace.